Hi everyone, Jakub Maritz from How We Made It in Africa here. How We Made It in Africa recently published a very interesting interview with a Japanese entrepreneur called Yuma Sasaki, who moved to Ethiopia to establish a electric motorcycle company called Dodai. In the interview, I asked him why he specifically chose Ethiopia, of all places, as a location for his business. And his answer was quite interesting. Uh, one of the things that he said is Ethiopia is perceived as a difficult business destination and therefore there's less competition and uh, that created a more attractive opportunity for him. And he also talks about how when everyone is positive about a specific country and say you need to go there, often it is too late. So yeah, that was very interesting. I'm going to play you the clip now. But for those who want to watch the full interview as well as the thousands of interviews how we made it in africa has done over the years i urge you to please subscribe our youtube listeners get a 15 percent discount with the voucher code that i'll post in the description below but let, let's listen to the clip so can you talk a bit about uh, the market opportunity that you saw for Dodai for like wh why did you think uh, electric scooters would be a, a, a good idea in Ethiopia yeah if you can just talk a bit about your thought process there's a there's a part why Ethiopia and a why electric scooter in Ethiopia so why Ethiopia part first of all the obvious reason is that it's second most populous country in Africa it's 120 million people uh, it's going to the average age 19, so it's going to be 200 million people by 2050. So enormous potential. Just looking at the the population size, and then second, it's pretty difficult country to do business, uh, and then that's a reputation of uh, Ethiopia. And I don't disagree; it's difficult. So before going to the sector, the electric scooter. I believe that when there's big potential and everybody say that it's too difficult or it's not popular as a market, there's real big potential. When everybody starts saying that, wow, this, there's a good opportunity, often it's too late. When people say that it's, oh, Kenya is good, Nigeria is good, yeah, it's good, but it's too competitive. It's very difficult. And even if you don't go there, someone will do it. Uh, the same, if people start saying uh, 10 years ago, China is a big market, it's too late. Now people talking about Malaysia, Vietnam, it's too late. Uh, you have to look at the markets that's big potential, that has a big potential, but also the, the vast majority of people say that, no, 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 it's too risky. Uh, then I see real opportunity to make a difference. And if you make it, a uh, big return. So that's why I look at the Ethiopia first poll.